I think the reason that defeat is the most common experience that many Christians today have or experience has to do with the fact that our gospel is truncated. It's like clipped. If you take a bird and clip its wings, it can't fly. It doesn't mean it couldn't fly. It just can't fly with clipped wings. And when you have a gospel with clipped wings, you're going to find that it isn't able to function the way a bird <laughs> is intended or created by God too. So we can read in scripture and we can watch the life of Paul the apostle and like, go Paul, why can't I <laughs> do what Paul did? And oftentimes that's, uh, times that's because we've, we've taken aspects of the gospel and left certain on the table. The key one that I would say is a functional point of Christianity has to do with the gospel's invasion of our life. It's not just a mental ascent to say, yes, Jesus died for me, but then my follow-up question would be, what does that mean to you? Well, he bought your body with his blood. Give it to him. It's your reasonable act of service. Just give him what is rightfully his and let the Holy Spirit move in and take over. When Jesus Christ moves in and takes over a life, these hands are no longer my hands. They're his hands. These eyes are no longer my eyes. They're his eyes. This mind is now the mind of Christ. This mouth is now his mouth for him to speak what he wants to be spoken. It's a little scary for many people. So if we keep control of our life, it's like, Jesus, you stay over there, I'll stay over here, but I esteem you and I love you. You're gonna find that you're living a life with clipped wings. It's not as God intended it to. And so as a result, you're not going to fly. And so you're you know, sort of like that ostrich running around on the ground, a steaming flight, but you can't get up. You can look at the eagle in the air and read about it in the scripture, but God needs to have control of your life if you wanna fly. And so I would say that's probably what I would say is right at the crux of why there is a latent uh, weakness to the body of Christ today. If you'd like to take these truths deeper, join us here at Ellerslie for one of our upcoming discipleship programs. 